Hi, and welcome to LZW, which stands for Linux Multimedia Studio and Zenit SubFX Watch and Learn. My name is Anfa, and I'm going to share my knowledge and passion about creating electronic music in the show. Yeah, now let me explain the title. LMMS, which is Linux Multimedia Studio, is a free and open source electronic music creation program in which you can create sounds with synthesizers or samplers, arrange them in songs, uh, apply FX, mix them together, and export to one or multiple files for further mixing or just mastering. Now, Zenit SubFX is the best synthesizer I've ever seen, including the commercial ones, which sometimes are very kickass, but this one is the most kickest synth you'll ever, ever see. Zenit SubFX. Yeah, and I'm going to dive into this synth and into this program just by showing you how do I make electronic music with these tools. I want to share my passion with you so you will be able to create your own tracks. If you're watching this, I guess that you have passion for music already and you have some knowledge, you have some hearing, you have some melodies bouncing around or rhythms. Yeah, I want to help you. Follow me. Oh, and one more thing. If you don't have LMMS already, go to lmms.sf, like science fiction, .net, and you'll find there the download page and, you know, just click, click, yeah. All right, let's begin the first LZW session. I'll start up uh, just by throwing out the stuff I don't need, uh, which is pretty much everything except the empty beats, beat plus bass and beat plus baseline pattern. I'm going to drop, for instance, of Zenit sub FX out here, and for instance, of Zenit sub FX out there. These are going to be the um, percussive instruments and these are going to be the melodic instruments. Now I got an uh, I've got a gospel drum and bass song bouncing around my head idea for some years, several years uh, and it sounds like lift my spirit to your love oh father lift my spirit to your light oh Lift my spirit to your light, oh Father. Lift my spirit to your light. <laughs> Something like this. I'll try to, you know, uh, make uh, the instrumental part of this. Now in this session, okay. So let's just start off. Start out. Start out with naming. Right click, snare. Uh, the rhythmic instruments. I had big capital letter, please. And this will be rim. This will be the. So it's. Like this so yeah let's kick it out kick it out start it up just by you know opening the kick instrument playing the simple pattern and assigning first assigning the mixel channels yeah snare channel number two I have channel number three rim channel number four and so on. I'm going to name the mixer channels. Double click, kick, snare, hi hat, rim. Now I'm going to 
start out with these later. And now for the kick. Hey, advanced. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly make a snare, a uh, kick drum. Let's see the waveform. We got oscilloscope kind of stuff. Yeah, let's add some liter little. Reverb to this, some distortion. Exciter, maybe some EQ to f you know to boost some frequencies. No, I don't like this distortion. Maybe like this. But I think it's too long. It should be shorter sound because in the fast beats. Yeah. And maybe less reverb. Okay. Now just turn it down a little bit so it won't get red. Here's a kick. Now let's copy this, right click, paste, mute as a, or not mute, just solo the snare drum and do the very similar thing. Well, not this knob, the other one. I will just do high pass filter instead of low pass filter to make this one. not go to so much bassy frequencies add a noise generator it sounds pretty nice already and we could just Yeah, now we could just add some little reverb. And some little distortion. Gently mix with this original sound, just turn it down a bit. Oh, I think the bandwidth is not so good because it's too random. Actually, we just don't need too much of this. Now, hi hat, hi hat, hi hat is going to be made not with AdSynth but with SubSynth, which is subtracting sounds. Filtering them out from white noise. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got some random noise. Zero. Which means that the first sample is none, is zero. So that we have we don't have a click. You hear the click now? You don't hear it now. Okay, now stretch will go down to zero because strikes. Hello, are we recording? Still, you're with me? 
here you too okay working fine looks like we have some for it to finish before we go on okay everything's all right yeah so i'm going just to move this higher add some higher higher much higher frequencies Sculpt this sound a little bit with the noise and make the envelope have no sustain because when it has sustain it sustains at a little tiny bit of non-zero value which leaves us with static piece of noise we don't want now for the rim rim has to be counter counter sound for for the snare uh, for the hi-hat i'll just make a some I'm going to sneeze, man. Oh, this is hard. How about this? You like this? Me too. Great. Now, let's kick the tempo up to 180, which is fast. Now, clear all notes, clear all notes, clear all notes, clear all notes and reset the name reset name reset name okay i'm going to make a first the first uh, drum pattern which is going to be something like so it's kick no first it's snare here and snare here kick here kick here Maybe inverse this. Ha! <laughs> no. <laughs> funny. Maybe do it that way. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, almost. Now I'm transposing all the notes played with this instrument. The bass note. When I set the bass note lower, the real notes get higher, you know, relatively. Default is A4. C, D, E, F, G, A.
maybe we should make the rim and the hi-hat more quiet yeah now let's just hide the piano roll stop this duplicate duplicate now just let's make four of this of these leave the last one empty because we're going to use another break which will be longer and maybe just drag this here call this 01a call this one 02a or no 01b yeah actually i could call it 1a 1b we're not going to have more than two of these yeah you know, just used to this Yeah, pretty nice. Feels it like it, yeah? Okay, now let's duplicate this. I'm removing the, the patterns, uh, the blocks with uh, middle click, adding them with left click. Now I'm going to add here another extra. extra you know let's just oh maybe let's replace replace this make another version with even more kicks and the final one this would be o2a <laughs> o2b o3 O2, O2, C. Yeah. How will we sound? Control middle click to mute. <laughs> Try like this. So we will have uh, we should here have here. Now piano roll, hide piano roll. So it looks like A is is more full of stuff than B. Uh, maybe we should huh <laughs> it sounds like it doesn't it huh? all right now there will be a break now I'll just use this very same beat, but we'll add a, you know, it will be a bass drop. So, yeah, just let's make it for now this simple. Maybe change the pattern for here and there. Every now and then. Every now and then make it like this. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so now I'm going to add the melodic instrument. First, let's call it bass and make it channel number five. Channel number five! Yeah. And this one will play. Da, da. Mm -hmm. So this is H or B minor, uh, B flat. Da, 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 da. Here 
three times. I got a, you know, uh, for arranging this for a gospel choir, I think like it's. Tom, we love you, Tom. We need you, Tom. We praise you all day long. All day long. Cool pattern. Doesn't it sound lazy? It does. Yes, it's delete. Uh, control A, Control C. I need to, you know, the. Oh, this one is too much. D. Oh. D, 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 D. <laughs> oh, this is relative. Maybe like this. Lacks some, you know, fluently fluency. This is it. Okay. Now I'll select the longer notes, uh, make them a little longer. So we will have portamento with this. I'm going to show you. Now let's set the loop markers, open the bass instrument, play this. Make this mono portamento key limit. It's a bit too lazy. Now let's make a like a case bass case guitar no no case guitar bass guitar
square wave is beautiful. I'm detuning them so they're playing, you know. See something made that the synth. This note sounds like it like, like this should. Strange. Now, how about filtering this? And velocity sensing, tell it turn it off. Here, turn it off too. And here, turn it off too. And here too. And here too. And here. So now, velocity should only change. Should only change volume. It doesn't fucking work like that. Oh, <laughs> it says right mouse to disable. <laughs> so I did just the opposite way I wanted, just the opposite thing I wanted. Yeah, so I will have to do just the same thing, just the opposite way. And the final voice, which is the sub sign. I think this is a little bit too loud. Yeah, maybe let's just make this pattern.
Does it sound like drum and bass? Oh, I think, uh, well, you know, it uh, depends. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, so what should I do next? What should I do next? Huh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Add a sub bass. Or not. Actually, it works as a sub bass too. So maybe add a. I don't know what. Let's just play around. Yeah, like this. Brilliant, easy, quick. Hmm, how would I call this? Key. Uh, it goes for channel 6. Well, and you know I have an idea for this instrument already. Exit, but I'm going to make it sub synthish with zero. Oh ma max. Oh yeah. And now for some reverb. And maybe some chorus. Or a flanger. It's funny because there's not much harmonics to flange, but I'm just control plus drag. I'm just duplicating duplicating the patterns uh, to fill the space. <laughs> just randomly clicking, you know, inserting, deleting, inserting, deleting. the rhythm okay maybe I'll add some uh, noise sweep or oh, erase or raise rise raise that will go <laughs> I wanted to track the note to make it longer Now just play this in loop. Make this one go to channel seven. Use absinthe also, maybe in mono. Should go a little bit higher. Oh, this is cool. 
Now let's add some thing phaser. Yeah. Look at this. I think it should start earlier and then it finish earlier. Oh, let's try it going so long. Okay, hmm, funny. Now, are we recording still? Everything fine? Nothing broke? I'm amazed, dude. You have no idea how many times I'm making this <laughs> just for the sake that something breaks and I just, you know, I don't seem to be. to be capable of making this, sh this whole process. Flawless. Um, let's make the, uh, something here. Maybe another bass instrument. Yeah, it will be a frequency simulation bass, which will sound more like a bass guitar. And we'll use it here. Now we need some notes for it first. Spirit to your love. One, two, three, four. Lift my spirit to your love. Ah, oh, Father. Oh, yes, we need some change here. So we'll duplicate or duplicate. I never know these two. Let's make it this second. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hmm. does it work? Yeah, does it work? And the third one. We've not finished. Yeah, now let's, uh, once we have this um, melody, we can just work on the sound of it. Maybe let's make it a little bit more square wave.
one will have to be loud because it's very low. And of course, we love distortion. Let's make it uh, using Portamento 2. How about making this? Ta 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 You see? Harmony. go now I hear this bass sounds poor how about it needs some support how about duplicating this Drop the gain a little bit. Looks like the bases are. Well, we don't have refreshing windows. We do have no refreshment. Yeah, maybe just loop it forever. Okay, I think that will be it for this episode of LZW. Just keep it going. first part. They has to be the bonus. <laughs> you gotta wait for them. And I also shorten the, the second coming. <laughs> uh, make it be like... Oh, this is bass. Sorry. A key sort of here. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and that you've learned something. Feel free to comment, ask questions or request some music genre or style. Suggestions are welcome. So see you next time. Where's the button? Where's the button? Oh yeah, this is it. Go to lmms.sf.org slash sorry. One more time. Oh, one more thing. If you don't have LMMS already, go to S... One more time. Oh, one more thing.